First, die, so you die, maybe because you had a car accident or someone killed you, or you died because of a disease. So someone makes you a grave. After three days, your spirits and your skeletons live in the ground, but your spirit goes into the judgment. And that is where God decides if you're a good person or a bad person, and He decides if you can if you can go in heaven or if you can go in hell. I think hell is a place where you have to the push stones up a big hill and every time we are nearly to the top, a red person with a pitch fork will come and push it down again. The king of the hell is uh, the devil. The devil looks like he's big, fat and red with pointy nose and then he has like a little red vest on him and a cape and a big arch, like his sword or something like that. And he holds them with his special sword, transforms them in bad people, like him. Sometimes if people die a few years later, they might come back as something else. Well, they might come back as a wasp, a butterfly. I would like to come back as a dog. I would like to come back as a bat because it's pretty interesting hanging upside down for most of the time. You would remain in heaven for a good time, but then, like, I would say, like, God says, what do you want to be in the next life? That you could be a tree. Just watching people go by, seeing what happens. My fish was in his fish tank, and then he died because he didn't like hot water. We didn't know. When you're dead, just lying down there. What happens is there's a wee light from your body goes up to the sky and that God knows that you're dead. And what he does is takes you to heaven. Oh, so what do people live in heaven? My grandfather, my great-great-grandfather. My gramps would be up there and all my relatives that died. Jesus and God. My great grand Bobby would be up in heaven. What I know about my grandpa, I know that he was a fisherman because my mum said he won so many trophies for fishing. And my mum says I've got a lot in common, common with my grandpa and my mum really misses her dad. And once I saw my mum with uh, one of her dad's t-shirts, hugging it and smelling it because she misses her dad so much because he died. I think heaven would be like people flying and stuff that you can get for free, everything in the world's free and it never rains and you don't need suntan lotion. I hate suntan lotion getting put on. It sounds like a wonderful, magical place where anything you want can happen. Even if your wish was a whole land of chocolate, it would come true. Imagine if you could like fly an airplane up to heaven, or if you had way, if, if you get wings in heaven and you can fly. Canaries actually can talk, and dogs and all can talk, so you can finally find a way to actually interact with your dog. It's practically like paradise. The miracles happen when you're in heaven because you, you, when you fall it doesn't hurt just once it hurts. You can't die in heaven, even with people shooting with guns. That'll be the good thing. You're allowed guns. They don't go to a toilet up in heaven. If they do go to the toilets, they would have a wee mini one for them. You can of like get a kit in a bucket. Some nights whenever you're out walking, um, your favourite person start will normally twinkle at you because it was twinkling right at me that it would have been my granddad.